hello student today we are going to study the mole concept and very important topics for class 11 and for entrance and uh, entrance preparation for engineering medical uh, today we are going to study the uh, main uh, formula and some trick about the mole concept and then we study um, then we solve numerical problems related with mole concept what is mole here mole is unit to express the atoms molecules ions or particles in particles there may be uh, electron proton neutrons so mole is simply a unit to express the atoms molecules ions or particles and here one dozen one dozen means 12 one dozen copies means 12 piece copies one dozen banana means 12 piece banana like one dozen this dozen is a unit this is unit like this mole is also unit in one mole there is 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 and 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 is also called Avogadro's number 6.023 10 to the power 23 we simply uh, say it Avogadro's number and it can be symbolized as n a and one mole of atom like one dozen copies means 12 piece copies similarly one mole of atom means 6.023 in 10 to the power 23 atoms Atom means atoms, copies means copies, banana means one dozen ban banana means two will piece banana. So for one molecules, for one mole molecules, 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 molecules. It means one mole of atom contain this number of atoms. One mole of molecules can contain this number of molecules. That is a Avogadro's number of molecules. Let us study the number of moles number of moles number of moles for molecules or atoms in terms of gram in terms of weight number of moles equals to weight in gram divided by molecular weight for molecules for molecules molecular weight for atom atomic weight number of moles for our weight in gram divided by molecular weight for molecules and number of moles equals to weight in gram divided by atomic weight for atoms here one question calculate the number of moles of 12 gram 12 gram co2 it means to calculate the carbon di weight uh, to, to calculate the number of moles we, ha we have we have given here 12 gram that is a weight in gram and molecular weight of co2 equals to number of moles number of moles equals to 2 will weight in gram divided by molecular weight of carbon dioxide co2 is 44 then you can calculate the number of moles for atom number of moles equals to weight in gram divided by atomic weight it means weight in gram uh, for atoms so let us suppose uh, 12 gram magnesium calculate the question here is calculate the number of moles for 12 gram magnesium so number of moles per hour weight in gram is 12 weight in gram is 12 divided by atomic weight for magnesium is 24 here we can calculate the number of moles this is for number of moles with mass in this is number of moles in terms of gram related with weight in gram another number of moles in liter and this is only applicable for gases and stp or ntp condition for example oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen ammonia h2s etc for this number of moles equals to volume in liter divided by 22.4 liter so conditions will be ntp or stp and for gas you should remember this for gases 
NTP or STP, we can use the term volume here. Number of moles equals to volume in liter divided by 22.4 liter. Number of moles here, number of moles equals to volume in ml. If there is volume is in ml, then divided by 22,400 ml. And if there is a presence of molecules, then number of moles, the number of moles equals to number of particles divided by Avogadro's number. Number of particles means number of particles means uh, atoms, molecules, ions, electrons, protons, neutrons, etc. And Na, we know the uh, Na, Avogadro's num number 6.023 into 10 to the power 23. Calculate the number of moles of two atom of two atom of sodium the equation is like this calculate the number of moles of two atom of sodium it means two atom is a number of particles number of particles of sodium is two atom and number of particles divided by Avogadro's number divided by 6.023 10 to the power 23 and we get the number of moles in overall you can see that number of moles has a different formula so we are relating one one with other here number of moles equals to weight in a gram divided by molecular weight equals to number of moles is volume in liter divided by 22.4 liter and number of moles equals to number of particles divided by 6.023 in 10 to the power 23 it means if you uh, if you have to calculate weight in gram and you have you are given volume in liter then you can use this term and if you uh, if you are given a number of particles and you have to calculate the liter then you can use this relation and if you have given number of particles and you have to calculate the weight in gram then you can use this relation or you can calculate the molecular weight also here one simple uh, numerical problem here calculate the weight in gram of 11.2 liter of CO2 at NTP at NTP so 11.2 liter of CO2 here volume is given volume of CO2 is given that is 11.2 and calculate the weight in gram this weight is asking this weight is asking so we can use weight in gram divided by molecular weight equals to volume in liter divided by 22.4 liter volume is given in liter so we are uh, using this liter weight in gram we have to calculate weight in gram divided by molecular weight of molecular weight of carbon dioxide is 44 you know this volume in liter of co2 is 11.2 and divided by 22.4 now we can calculate the weight in gram here 11.2 into 2 so therefore weight in gram weight in gram equals to 44 divided by 2 that is 22 gram therefore 11.2 liter of co2 at NTV, NTV contain to 22 22 gram of carbon dioxide here for atom that is that above uh, relation that we are using according to formula and this is also uh, come from the formula here for atom uh, trick to remember one mole of atom is atomic mass we can remember this trick one mole of atom means atomic every atom you can take every atom and that atom that one mole of that atom is equal to atomic mass of that atom it means one mole of sodium one mole of sodium means 23 gram of sodium 23 gram of yani we know that 23 gram of uh, gram is the atomic weight of sodium one mole of sodium means 23 gram of sodium one mole of calcium means 44 gram of ca like this you can also say one mole of one mole of carbon means how many gram 12 gram atomic weight of carbon is 12 gram of carbon similar to atom we can say for molecules for molecules here one mole of molecules one moles one mole of molecules equals to molecular mass 
for molecules this is the trick you can take every molecules and that one mole of that molecules equals to molecular mass for example calcium carbonate is a molecules h2s is a molecules carbon dioxide is a molecules one mole of csu3 equals to 100 gram molecular mass of calcium carbonate is 100 gram one mole of csu3 equals to 100 gram of caco3 one mole of h2s means 34 gram of h2s if you take 34 gram of h2s it is equal to the one mole of h2s this is for molecules and for and for gases and for gases trick to remember one mole of gases that is molecules equals to 20 22.4 liter here is mole relation related with the volume one mole of gases equals to 22.4 liter one mole of ammonia you can take every gases you can take but the condition should be ntp or stp condition should be ntp or stp one mole of ammonia equals to 22.4 liter at ntp or stp one mole of co2 carbon dioxide equals to 22.4 liter you can take every gases like you can take one mole of oxygen one mole of oxygen means one mole of o2 means how many liter one mole of o2 means 22.4 liter and the condition is at N ntp or stp and we can also say the per particles for particles one mole of particles equals to avogadro's number one mole of particles in particles there may be atoms molecules electrons protons neutrons it is see so one mole of particles equals to avogadro's number this is the trick you can take every particle so one mole of electrons equals to 6.023 into the power 23 electrons one mole of electrons one moles means this number and for electrons electrons one moles means this number Avogadro's number and protons to protons protons to protons atoms to atoms molecules to molecules ions to ions electrons to electrons so this is trick and here we know that one mole of atom equals to 6.023 into the power 23 atoms you can take every atoms that atoms equals to atomic weight we know that and again we can say that one mole of atom equals to 6.023 into the power 23 atoms that is avocado's number this is the n a and one mole of molecules equals to 6.023 into the power 23 molecules for molecules molecules one mole 6.023 10 to the power 23 and for electrons electrons for proton protons so uh, if you count 6.023 10 to the power 23 protons total this protons equals to one moles two bell means one dozen like 6.023 10 to the power 23 means one mole here we can also relate that here we can also relate that one mole of this is example one mole of na means how many mass of na 23 gram of na one mole of na equals to 23 gram of na and one mole of na means how many number of atoms of na 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 atoms of na atoms of na this is for atoms and for molecules for example one one mole of ns3 this is molecules so we can take molecular weight here for ns3 the molecular weight is 17 gram of ns3 and one mole of ns3 means how many molecules of ns3 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 molecules of molecules of ns3 molecules of ns3 here and you you can relate 23 gram of na means 6.023 10 to the power 23 atoms of na 17 gram of 
ammonia means 6.023 in 10 to the power 23 you can you can relate every term like this mole to gram gram to number of particles and volume for volume you can only relate gases at ntp for volume for volume gases only and the condition is ntp or stp for example for gases one mole of let us take any gases one mole of nitrogen equals to how many mass for nitrogen nitrogen is a molecules nitrogen molecules 28 gram of n2 and one mole of nitrogen means you can also see it in terms of volume one mole of nitrogen at ntp 22.4 liter of nitrogen at ntp conditions will be ntp and also here one mole of n2 means how many particles how many molecules of nitrogen 6.023 10 to the power 23 molecules of n2 you can relate this and for every gases for every gases one mole means 22.4 liters but one is exception here one is exception here this is very important one mole of water means one mole of h2o means as 18 ml of water and at 273 kelvin means stp condition zero degree celsius temperature and the reason is at ntp or stp water is liquid not gases if gas then one mole of gas equals to 22.4 liter but water at ntp is liquid so exception for exception for water so to remember this one mole of water means 18 ml of h2o you can remember by its atomic sorry molecular mass because molecular mass of water is 18 gram and in terms of volume you can write 18 ml and this is some basic formula uh, if you know this formula then you can calculate you can solve different types of numerical problem we are going to practice numerical problem on the basis of this in next video